He did all these that last part. He's freaking. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, from the way he did that. There's another one. What? <laughs> hey, Nate. <laughs> hey, Cameron. Hello. Cameron's thinking about getting Necrons rolling, so I'm sure I'm giving him some inspiration. Oh, yeah. I think you should. Have you seen this guy's stuff? Oh, yeah. Rumble yeah, Master. That. Yep. <laughs> They're like, let's pimp our rides. Oh, hey, here's my Imperial Knights book. Awesome. Yeah, hey, boyos, what's good. going on? Pretty good. Time for the stuff. Oh, you got this chaos. thing finished? Let's yeah. take a look here. Here's the defiler. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do a separate thing on these. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, hold on. Ah, oh, here's John getting his dwarfs together for our bat rep tomorrow. Zombie dwarfs that he painted in like three minutes. <laughs> I just noticed that here's a little PS. I just noticed that this is done. And, uh, and uh, looking real nice. I like this base. Thank you. So uh, when you're, yes. Oh, did you do that? Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. Yeah, I like it because he put the cork uh, a lot of times it's easy just to <laughs> slap cork on flat, you know, but uh, to tilt it a little bit gives us some really nice motion. And, um, you know, and I think the snow looks really good. And also when you're, um, when you're painting uh, rock, uh, you don't have to go gray. Everyone kind of defaults to gray. Sometimes getting a middle stone or a khaki or some kind of, mid-tone or earth, uh, earth tone type thing on there is, uh, is real nice too. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in, and I hope that you got your inspiration for the day. Well, well, what's going on over here? Getting ready for the team game, team game Wednesday. All right, awesome. So uh, you're doing um, Dark Eldar. Oh yeah, awesome. a really, really fluffy list. So we all know our list pretty much. So I've got three homoculi in like a group, all with hex rifles. Okay, got it. So it's like a sniper rifle, and if you fail an armor save, you roll on your wounds characteristics, like a wound characteristic uh -huh. test, and if you fail it, you remove from play. Ooh, pretty awesome. ouch. So then he's got Webway Portal to bring in some, some racks and a Talos Pain Engine, and some Hellions just to move around and be a nuisance. Spice it up. A Ravager in case there's anything big I need to kill, so. It's awesome, Fluffy I like cool it. List. What's a wounds? I like it. So, so you know how like, you have to take a toughness test? Yeah. The same, same, same thing against your wounds. So if you only have one wound, you would roll... And you'd have to roll a one. Up, you have to roll one. On two up, you die. So if you have two wounds, you roll one or two. Or and that's die. if you already wound us? Or that's if you get us. wounded. It's oh, a poison. Okay. So it's so, better against yeah. like big things. Oh, uh, yeah, like monster. Well, uh, get, yeah, against the guy with or, one wound. Well, he just took a wound. It doesn't matter if he took a wound, he's going to die. But yeah, it's for character and monster creature and stuff like that. Cool. Yep. Are they characters? They are all three characters. So they can precision shoot too. Uh, yeah, but also that's uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, sniper, so that's it. Are you in on this too? What are you playing? I am. Tyranids? I have Tyranids. Yep. And okay. Then three Carnifexes. Ah, oh, your Carnifex is fantastic. Yep. <laughs> hey, so Andy, I want to see your thing. Yeah. So this is one of those what's at nights. Standing uh, in dread. as a uh, whatever it is. A dread knight. A dread knight. That's fan. That, that, I got to tell you, that looks really good. And it looks about right on that. It's on like that perfect Valk size space. for that kind of thing. Oh no, this isn't even things. a Valk base. Yeah, I, I so you <laughs> ovalized it a little bit yeah, with that? Yeah, I made it look about the right shape, but I need to buy a, the proper size base. Okay, you don't have one of those then? It like comes literally with you didn't have yeah, that? Yeah, it comes with these little mini ones. So I, I, kind why, of made I, think, I think that looks really good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we probably have an extra Valk base around here somewhere. All right, well, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome, guys. Guys, I'm chewing gum again, so sorry about that. I've been, it's a uh, part of my effort to, uh, to not eat during the day, you know, how you eat when you're bored. I am now doing something unusual, so take advantage of it, and that is putting some studio armies on the block. Uh, let's take a look at what we have. Uh, the first is this Imperial Guard army, and uh, it consists of 70 infantry, all converted. You've got Penal Legion. You've got uh, Forge World Rebreather Mask. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. Those are, uh, those are veterans. Of course, all of them could be veterans with all the conversion work that's done on them. And uh, yeah, but they, they mix Cadians and Empire and all this other stuff. And uh, you got these missile launchers here. Uh, sorry for the noise in the background. 
Uh, but uh, you know, this is just my first pass just to see if anybody just wants to pick, wants to pick this up. There'll be prices in the liner notes. And uh, you've got these three Sentinels. These are all painted up by uh, Cameron and Joseph. And you can get expansions for them. I have uh, actually some models on hand for that. This is a Marbo, and uh, he, he needs his base done and a little detailing. But other than that, everything's painted up. Uh, you've got uh, two Hellhounds, uh, two Lehman Russes, and a Basilisk, and of course this amazing Valkyrie. Uh, that thing is just, oh no, it's a Vendetta. Is it magnetized? Yeah, it's magnetized. So even better, tons of detail, great uh, nose cone art on this one, which you can see if you remove this uh, magnetized twin link glass cannon. Um, you know, there's just so much to this army. It's so beautiful. And uh, on top of that, uh, as far as I know, every single thing is magnetized. It just has a zillion magnetized options. It's uh, just absolutely gorgeous beyond belief. So again, 70 infantry, uh, two, four, six tanks, three sentinels, and uh, the Valkyrie are all part of that. Also got a couple of objective markers and servo skulls here. So the next up is this absolutely mind-blowingly awesome High Elf Army. It plays well, it works well. So uh, you've got four heroes here. This is a custom uh, BSB, a Lariel, which I use as just a regular uh, Archmage. The fantastic Archmage from Isle of Blood. Uh, this plastics uh, guy is just a, uh, a regular martial hero. You've got uh, 30 Phoenix Guard. Uh, I just stand in this uh, champion as Kara Dryan uh, on days I want to do it that way. You have 21 Sword Masters, all from Isle of Blood. Uh, it, like Everything is the most recent, up-to-date, best version of it. 30 Sea Guard, 10 Dragon Princes. Um, you've got uh, 10 Sisters, uh, excuse me, Sisters of Avalon, pretty sure that's it. 25 Illyrian Reavers. I also just sub those in as Silver Helms, and it makes one heck of a unit. And uh, finally, you've got uh, these uh, repeater bolt throwers, a sky cutter just for fun. That model is just so beautiful, you can't pass it up. And of course, a, a Flame Spire Phoenix, which is just awesome. Everything comes on BTP magnetic movement trays, which I say unabashedly they're the best movement trays, uh, best movement trays out there. Um, I don't guarantee that you can hold things upside down like this, uh, but if they're on there, there's one guy a little loose here, but you can, uh, the plastics do hold extremely well on that. And again, they, they do fit. That guy was just loose from not being put on right. So uh, anyway, um, that is the High Elf Army. So again, check the liner notes for a cost on that. Two more Warhammer Fantasy armies coming up right now. Uh, you have the Skaven, uh, and I've already done a video on these, but uh, I'll just give you the rundown really quick. It's 250 clan rats, a hell pit abomination, seven heroes that are all just like ridiculously awesome. A Plague Priest, uh, Ikit, um, Queek, uh, this assassin guy, Snickich, the uh, Isle of Blood uh, warlock guy, this guy, which I use as a battle standard bearer, um, guy where even the rest of them, this uh, uh, engineer with rocket, which is a great combination, and uh, a guy on uh, litter. Is that, is that all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, and then there's one other guy in here. This is, oh, yeah, there's, in fact, there's a couple more. There's uh, this guy, so there might actually be ten, all told. So, uh, anyway, and then this is, I'm pretty sure this is the limited edition, like, 2010 Games Day piece, something like that. Uh, but whatever it is, it's really cool. Uh, you've got 11 of these warp fire throwers, um, uh, poisoned wind mortars, a warp lightning cannon, a screaming bell, two doom wheels, both magnetized uh, drop away banners and uh, more than 30 um, storm vermin and uh, they come with the the magnetic movement trays they come with extra trays so you can configure them around the screaming bell uh, in fact there's uh, three rats here that fit underneath the back of the screaming bell so they all rank up everything about this army is completely deluxe and i gotta tell you it is hard to build a skaven army because of all the clan rats you gotta that you gotta do, and uh, these clan rats, these are done. You just like, blam, it just happens. Okay, uh, then the Beastmen. And uh, this Beastmen army is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it features, um, hold on, you just count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 uh, gores. 
uh, and then 10, 20, excuse me, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 ungores. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, 20 best gores and uh, a champion or a hero here. That guy's really cool. A doom bull, six minotaurs, uh, these converted chariots, which are awesome, which no doubt you've seen before. All on like bases that have like decorations on them. You've got these uh, two gorgons, gorgons, I guess I would say. And uh, those have variations, so they have the two variant heads. Uh, everything is just uh, beautiful. You have a shaman down here. And we can certainly expand on this if you want. Um, and it comes with the, uh, the magic cards, too. So, uh, but not this dice. I don't know what that's doing there. Or the display board. Well, actually, you, you could buy the display board, too, if you wanted. I'll put that up as an option. So anyway, um, yeah, these are all amazing armies. This is, uh, this is straight from Daddy's stash. That's right. So uh, let me know if you're interested. Uh, contact me at uh, the email that I'll put down below with the uh, other information. So here these guys go. They are doing this. Ooh. Have you seen this guy before? Oh yeah, he won the uh, which demon prince is best demon prince. Oh, okay. okay. He did those four, he won. Oh, that's oh. fantastic. Granted, he was painting the other ones weren't at the time, so that probably gave him an unfair advantage. <laughs> <laughs> he was what? He was painted and the other ones weren't at the time. Oh, okay. So that probably gave him an unfair advantage, but I'll take it. Yeah. All right, yeah, I think you should. God, that guy's, that guy's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Stop is Roberto. How's it going? So, um... Tell us about the last 18 hours of your life. <laughs> Got three hours of sleep. Nice. Um, because I really wanted to get this project done and out to the client. That's right. So I pulled almost an all-nighter. <laughs> Got here bright and early before the sun was up. I've been cranking away it. And I'm working on the last two conversions for it. The rest of it is off to the Dark fiber. elves. Dark elves. So, let's pause this. So yeah, right now I'm using the... Uh, new Medusa model that came with one of the new uh, okay. Dark Elves kits. Yeah. I trimmed it up quite a bit. Now, let's see. Is she going to be the sorceress? Yes. So Are you going to get rid of the snake hair? Actually, no, I'm going to keep it. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Well, the guy has a serpent motif on most of his stuff. Does so he? His mounted sorceress on Dread's... Mounted sorceress on Dread Steed. Yeah. But anyway, to show you the bits that I clipped off. This right. whole lower portion, portion, yeah. and then that. So, okay. trimmed up to that. So... Found that some, is actually really cool. Found some Harlequin legs. She's going to be kind of kneeling in the saddle. Oh, leaning, that's the best. Leaning forward. Now go ahead and hand me that uh, top yeah. piece there. Okay. Oh, that is cool. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, I say yes to this. That's the direction I'm going. I approve. <laughs> All right, in the background we have the massive. Yep, the massive. <laughs> I still haven't stored any snacks in it yet. I probably okay. should start doing that. Maybe I like think you should. Maybe a box of Twinkies. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Roberto. Oh, and Roberto is called the Highlander now. Oh, yes. Because he's the only surviving person named Robert. Yeah, we had, uh, we had four Roberts. I am the one. <laughs> <laughs> the real one. Okay. Well, the real Robert, please not quit. Okay. Um, Hello. Okay, so uh, what are you working on? Uh, some Starfleet Wars models. I don't know if you've ever heard of that game. Probably not, because nope. it's from forever ago and not super popular, I guess. Right. But uh, these models are yeah. pretty cool, man. Yeah, these are all... Got some good OSL on there. These are all solid lead models. So... Yeah, and they are... Yeah, they're like two pounds each. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, uh, just so you guys know, this is Devin. Hello. Uh, and he... How long have you worked here? I have worked here for... I think it's, it's been over, it's a little over a year and a half now. A little over a year and a half, so... What's laughing about over here? Nate. Nate? <laughs> okay, what's... Guys, what's going on? Come on. I, I don't even know it's Mason. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Alright, they, they don't want to tell me, I get it. No, we probably shouldn't bring it to attention, that's yeah. all. Okay, sounds good. So, um... <laughs> Rin... Yo. That toothpick makes it look like you should be fencing my stolen goods. No, actually, I use it. Nothing says that he won't do it for you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. And, uh, <laughs> oh, some things fenced. Yeah, that's some awesome. Things, uh, Maybe. Move. I'm not saying I. You know what's do, funny but... is with advent of girlfriend, you've actually kind of, uh, you know, skeezed up a little bit. <laughs> skeezed up. 
Yeah, no, no, I don't, and I don't mean it insultingly, but uh, you do look actually more unkempt now that there's a woman in your life. Is that how she likes it? Where she's like, ah, oh, I like you like a dirty boy. No. I like a slob. This is a, this is a complete, this is a complete garbage fest here. Awesome. Yeah, no, no, don't wash your hair, man. Just keep oh, it greasy. See. That's that's how I love it. He doesn't even know what to say. He's just like, wow. <laughs> Only the hardiest of souls can endure this I daily. I up when I go and see her. Do you? Oh, this is me waking up and... It's true. Every late. time he's like, I'm going to see, I'm going to see you. He's like, I take, a shower. I take a shower every time. Without time. No, that's good. Every time. Women, women love a man that's making himself better. I spend more time camping myself when I'm hanging out with her. You know, yeah. That goes into a... Uh, no, I got no excuse. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Story That's how I'm doing this. Uh, right. Yeah, okay, so talk to us about the actual thing you're working on. Now, <laughs> now that I'm done uh, deriding your personal uh, appearance uh, and hygiene. Yeah. Making me cry. It's a real word. It's a real word. Do you want to know if Sean's actually aware of some of the things that he says? What? <laughs> Sean's aware of them. What? I'm aware of them. I'm just not aware of <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so terrible. this is a wood elf sorceress <laughs> yes. made out of the old unicorn. And, oh, you're putting like a little tail on that guy. Yeah, I'm putting a tail on him. So you actually made like a core of metal for the tail? Yeah, and then you can like bend it around and then, right. and then after I get it into it. place and get the glue on it and stuff, I can clip off the t tip here and okay. then shape it out to be straight. Yeah, I gotta tell you, this is some microsurgery. Yeah, because like um, this model only comes on that and as you can see, I can't really put all the cloth and stuff oh, on yeah, there. So you I, had to actually... just, I had to clip it off and give it a tail so it actually looked natural. God, this is amazing, Ren. Thanks for taking um, care of this. Yeah, I did the Are hair. you drinking vegetable so oil? Yeah. I drink it like all the time. It's good for okay. your body. No, I put it all It over keeps my his head. hair uh, greasy. Uh, 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 I shouldn't have done <laughs> No, I think you no, should it's, have. No, uh, it's for working with the green stuff. Awkward actually. is our idiom. It's, uh, you know, instead of like Using spit on your tools. Using spit on my tools, which is gross. Use that stuff, and it actually stays moist, so it doesn't. So some it. clients are actually getting genuine Ren saliva on there. Yeah. yeah. No, so Jurassic Park that. style, if something yeah. ever happened to well, you, yeah. we could that, track those people I'm down doing it for and like clone that's how you. Know it's good. Yeah. You'll start as a little baby Ren. That's what he sounds. Hey, that's right, babies, come on. <laughs> I think today your brain. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, by the way, everybody missed me explaining why it's great to be a baby. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm doing some uh, Dark Angels uh, biker surgeries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, nice. The only now, these thing? have, uh, quote, nuke guns yeah. from Puppets War. Puppets War, he's counting them as grav guns. And then he wants the shields from these uh, Deathwing Knights. Oh, are those going on the other side? I those think... are going on the bikers. I'm trying to figure out because we I waited and like did the extra expense and the whole thing to get yep. these shields. I'm gonna figure it out. And they're flipping huge. They are huge. They're massive. So I'm gonna have to come up with something creative to make this work. All right. Because they're gonna be bigger than the bikes almost. You can do it, buddy. I'll do it. I'll get it done. Oh yeah, he will. He's not messing around. I borrowed some of your white scars bikes. Yeah. Somebody's wanting to copy the army, pretty much. Yeah. So. Uh, you got a finished product here? More or less. Okay. Probably going to go back and touch it up a bit more. Okay. But that's the general idea. That's great. Well, wow. so, hope you guys like it. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay. Now you got to make the hips more broad. Got to like green stuff them up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you realize I've been up for 28 hours. Yes, not, not, yes, I do. <laughs> and, uh, <Oops>. yep. <laughs> You're gonna finish it. You're gonna finish it, Roberto. J Rose Nids, in case you haven't seen those. This, by the way, this is a great color scheme for Tyranids. I highly recommend it. It just really goes. There was a, a client who did this color scheme. Uh, Janine came up with it. And, uh, it was, um, what was it? Hold on. Cinnamon. Cinnamonids, thank you. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, and I like this little kind of greenish stuff he has on here. It provides a sort of almost a subconscious counterpoint to all the warm colors going on up top. So, uh, yeah, if you want some nids, boy, uh, do consider this color scheme. 
what else? Bottom halves, like for the archers? No, the horsemen. The riders? Yeah, the riders. I don't even know how those fit on there. Are they intrinsic? No, they, they uh, actually the straddle, like the old kind. Right. Yeah, we should have a ton of those. And if we yeah, don't, look on the web store. Okay. okay. Well, if you haven't found any in bits, then it's the web store for ye. Well, I can't remember yeah. the last time we did a what else project. That was... Yeah. Yeah, I know. That one, Wait one till they redo them, the man. The pink one. That was the last yeah, one we did. The Easter? The Easter one, yeah. yeah that was uh, yeah, seven months ago. Was that one? Yeah. No, it wasn't that long ago. Well, I love wood elves. They're easily my favorite uh, fantasy I army. I did that. Other than the one I'm probably forgetting yeah. right now. Oh, really? So that's why I figured you might know. Yeah, check the web store because we'll pull stuff for you. Folks, I uh, want to remind you that Valhalla, May Valhalla is coming up. May 5th through 10th. That's a Monday through Saturday. Those are the hours. Those are the days for it. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, we did a video on it not too long ago. We're very excited. Uh, we have uh, Frontline Gaming coming out. Gary from Fate212. And uh, also, also um, very uh, strongly penciled in at this point is um, uh, a representative from Weird Games who is going to bring some swag and some expertise. And uh, also um, Dave Lewis from Hawk War Games. So uh, they, there are plans in place uh, that has been 100% verified, but also a ton of BTP staff are coming up too. And uh, this is going to be a very special Valhalla because uh, we're having a lot of, uh, a lot of the, uh, the names that you know from uh, your years of watching our channel up there. And uh, they're going to be teaching you how to paint, they're going to be doing bat reps with you, they're going to be playing games with you, and every meal catered by this awesome chef and uh, on 80 acres private up just in God's own country in the Utah Wilderland. It's really absolutely fantastic. We're super stoked for it. And guess what? Also, some really great deals on tickets right now. Um, check the, again, check the liner notes for that. And uh, we, we want you to come out. Uh, definitely contact us. And we will also make a payment plan for you as well. So uh, you really can't go wrong. Find a way to get out here. Be a part of what we're doing. And uh, it's going to be an absolute blast.